So welcome to the video, the first of my update videos this week. Gyno surgery. Something I actually haven't spoken about in a long time. Um, yeah, I get literally two to three new messages every single day from people asking me about the surgery. And that's always cool, but a lot of people are saying that there's one consistent message and it is, Freeze, I can't get in contact with Dr. Mitchell. Um, what's the story? What's going on? So um, I should have addressed this a while ago. Me and Dr. Mitchell actually caught up, I think it was towards the end of last year, but I actually never did an announcement of it or anything. So last year I did a story and I said, hey guys, it's your last chance to get your surgery with Dr. Mitchell. He's only doing them up until this date. Immediately booked out straight from me doing that story that night. It's crazy because it just goes to show the amount of people who needed it done, but who were like, oh, I'll get around to this at some stage. But then when I said, yo, he's only doing the surgery for another month, everyone's like, oh fuck, like, you, you don't have that time anymore. But I know a lot of people missed out on getting the surgery. So a little update here, guys. Dr. Mitchell no longer does the gyno surgeries. We did them for like $2,500 Australian, which is absolutely nothing. My gyno vids have gone pretty viral. The amount of people who have reached out to me and I always have conversations with people, I'm like, yo, what's the price that you've been quoted from your doctors? Obviously a lot of people don't live in Australia. The main price was like at least eight grand, nine grand, 10 grand, uh, which is pretty crazy. The fact that Dr. Mitchell was doing them for two and a half grand. So unfortunately he's no longer doing these surgeries and that's just something that I need to announce. Another thing I was going to give another update on my nipple scarring. I've got a few gyno vids on the channel. Some of them went viral. Some of them just capped off completely because there was actual surgery footage in there and YouTube literally just completely stopped anyone from seeing it. So that actually happened on Rob's surgery video. Rob is the guy who I actually took through a gyno surgery. Um, I vlogged his you know, his story, him getting it done. I'll actually leave that link in the description box. I actually just talked to Rob last week and he let me know that he's actually doing fine and he's recovered really well, so that's cool. We're actually gonna organize a training session over the next few weeks, so that's exciting. His recovery actually did not go the smoothest. When you get a surgery, not everyone is the same. So my recovery was like six weeks and it was a perfect recovery. Rob, he actually, his recovery wasn't good. For three months after his surgery, he experienced uh, blood clotting like through his, his pecs around his nipples. And that was just something for him that took a long time to drop off. I know that's a common occurrence. A lot of people get that, but usually it can drop off within like a week to two weeks. His stuck around for a bit longer, which at the time was really shit. I was really worried about that for him, but he did get it fixed in the end and his results are good. So um, I'm excited to catch up with him in a few weeks and see how he's going. So that brings me to now I'm going to show you guys my results. I've got a cross light coming through this room. Now this is usually the lighting that is the most harsh on, you know, your gyno scarring. I notice whenever I've got light coming across, if it's natural light, you can see more of the indents behind my nipple from where the gyno was removed. I actually really can't see in the viewfinder here at the moment how that's looking, but I'll probably get some close-ups separately. You'll probably be able to see there is a bit of uh, excess. Oh, it's, not, it's not much really. It's actually gone down in, in the last year as well. Bit of excess like skin lumps under the nipple, but you know, it's nothing that I actually am really phased by or, or really care about. On my right nipple, the scar is a bit more excessive. As you can see, um, you can actually see it's like a different color than the rest of the, the nipple. It's just a lighter shade and that's like a, a slice cut, which you can see through it. The other one, yeah, you can't really see a scar as much, but the nipple looks a little bit more deformed, I guess you could say, but it's, not something that I'm actually phased by. If you have gyno, you know how much of a psychological issue it is to have the lumps behind your nipple and to just have like a couple of scars, that is a small price to pay in my opinion. One thing I'll say, I was getting a lot of questions from people about your body fat percentage. One thing I have noticed, um, I'm actually gonna put some footage on screen here. This is me last year before I got in shape for my competition, which I did, my bodybuilding competition. Um, I was at a higher body fat percentage basically, and as you can see, the nipple itself is a lot more indent on that pec below the nipple, that's where the gyno lumps used to be. And I'll just put some footage on screen here. This is me when I was lean for the comp. I definitely noticed the leaner I am, even just looking at me now, I, I haven't looked in the viewfinder up close here, but the leaner I am, the less of the indentation which is under there 
is noticeable so that's kind of interesting the more body fat you hold obviously on your pecs and stuff it means that uh, your skin's less tight underneath where that gyno lump used to be so there's more room for a dent i guess and seriously one big thing i want to address here guys i had gyno here it is on screen here is the lump in a cup and here is me right before my surgery I really want to address this because a lot of the comments I've seen on my vids which have gone viral are oh, it wasn't even that bad, this guy's delusional, uh, he's just a classic case of being an insecure guy. When you have gyno, it is the worst thing ever. Sometimes it looks worse than others. I'm going to show again on screen here, tell me that is not fucking gyno, that is even to see the lumps removed, how big they were. The worst thing was not how they looked, yeah that was really shit. But the worst thing was the psychological effect of me being able to physically feel it. So anything that presses against you, if you're wearing a shirt, you're feeling these lumps. Obviously gyno, when they're exposed that much, when they're you know swelled up that big, if you've got bad gyno, it's almost like a deformity. It's something which is not really supposed to be in your body. You can physically feel like a painful feeling of that pushing against you. I remember when I was training sometimes, if I was training chest, sometimes with my dumbbell, I'd hit that. And literally, this, this thing's like this big behind your nipple. It pushes into like your heart and your organs and shit. Like it, it's a fucked up feeling. So I really want to address that because I've seen a lot of people's comments. They're like, oh, you didn't even have it that bad. It was fucking bad. And that brings me to another thing which I want to address. A lot of surgeons do the surgery different. Some people do liposuction and other surgeons don't. My surgeon, Dr. Mitchell, did not do the liposuction and that didn't seem to be an issue for me. I've had other people message me. I've Literally guys, I've had hundreds of messages from people getting the surgeries in all different countries across the world. Some of their results have been good, some have been bad. Some of their surgeons do liposuction, others do not. Uh, and the liposuction apparently is to move fat from elsewhere in your body to once the gyno is out to replace it back in so there's a fat store under so you don't get that dentine in theory is what i'm guessing that's still something that i am not sure whether is necessary or not like for me i know i've got a little bit of dentine behind the nipples but again when i'm at a higher body fat it's more noticeable when i'm leaner it's not as noticeable but especially if i tense like this i'll show you, you guys can probably see that because it always happens when I tense and I'll do it to this side. I get that, that dense looking, that flat bit at the bottom of my pec. But when I go like that, yeah, you can kind of see, okay, what's, you know, where the, the dent is. So whether the liposuction is a necessity or not, um, I'm still learning. Leave your comments below. If you've got a surgery, let me know. Now, one final thing. I really want to do something helpful for you guys who are experiencing this problem. I know it's probably a small few of my actual subscription-based audience, but I know there's a lot of people who have come to my channel through the gyno vids and continue to do so. Um, I want to put together a list of the... Now that Dr. Mitchell doesn't do it, obviously, I can't say, hey guys, here's Dr. Mitchell's details. I want to put together a list of the best surgeons all over the world who do this surgery. So please give me a message on Instagram, even comment below. I want to construct a, a list so I can actually make a video and say, if you live in Australia, here's the doctor to go to. If you live in Brazil, here's the doctor to go to. If you live in America, whatever state it is, these doctors do it and just really be able to put together a list for every country, a list for every surgeon and price point or thereabouts. And that's just something I really want to do for you guys who have this issue. Because I know for me, before I found Dr. Mitchell, I found him through a friend of mine. If I hadn't have, like no one had a gyno vid on YouTube back three years ago when I got the surgery. Um, if I never discovered that, I would have been having to live with that pain. And even just searching around, I know it's not the most accurate. I know by gathering data from a lot of people, then I can get a good representation of the best surgeons to do this surgery in Australia and New Zealand and everywhere else in the world. Um, so please give me a message or comment below if you have got the surgery, the surgeon you went to, anything like that. Even just give me a DM. I'm really just trying to construct together a list that could help a few of you guys. So yeah, that is a bit of an update on all the gyno stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed the vid. Some of you guys, I know this probably wasn't your cup of tea, but um, again, I'm doing these vids this week to just get stuff off my chest and address messages, which I get quite often. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the vid and make sure you thumbs it up. If you do, it always helps my channel here. Okay, I'll put your um, best on now. Okay, feel free. It's quite small. Yeah, stand up from here. Can you turn around this direction? 
Yeah, I'll try to stand up. There we go. There we go.